Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Wednesday, July the 27th, 2016. Today was FOMC day and you're looking at price destruction on the intraday chart for the US dollar. The market did pick up on some volume here and pretty much closed near the low of the session. Had a price range of 97.54 all the way down to 96.71. Uh, pretty wild price action to say the least. That is a massive swing uh, for the US dollar which traditionally barely hardly ever moved. But it's moving now. So that's a pretty big move there. And overall you're getting close to uh, the, the long term trend line here too as a matter of fact. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, looking at the longer term chart, we're extending lower here. Really, when you look, when you put things in its proper perspective, and when you look at the long term charts, that's why I use weekly charts, you can see it's really not a whole lot to write home about. You know, it really isn't. But when you look at what happened, though, after the announcement into the close, that is a big deal. So it, it's broke the chain of command, as you can see, this, this, this trading range, this consolidated price action, all right? You can see how the range now, technically speaking, has been extended a little bit. Uh, we need to see some follow through and see what happens here, if, if, if things are going to really change or not. But this right here is a massive change, and it could be letting us know that this is the new range going to be down here below the Kumo cloud. And the top is going to be up here somewhere. So too soon to really say, but this is what it is right now in the U.S. dollar. It should be noted that even though the U.S. dollar on an intraday pulled back like this, um, it's still not really price destruction. They can allow it to pull back like that. I showed you what it looked like on a longer term chart. It's really not a lot going on here. So uh, you can see some massive price swings on an intraday basis, but it's not affecting the overall chart pattern. And you can see here the ticker symbol UUP is the same situation, you know. So really not uh, a lot to write home about. It's just pulling back into the, you know, the trend line support. But the big mover of the day, of course, was the bonds. Bonds responded nicely uh, here to the to the news, and as you can see here, uh, nice upsurge. Uh, the opposite effect of the U.S. dollar, as you can see, this market's really pushing. Uh, the higher end here trying to get outside of this Kumo cloud uh, and if it does then it's going to extend the positive pulse wave and even try to change the chart pattern. Are we going to get across here? Uh, is bonds going to gap up to this 143 up here? Is it going to continue to gallop? It's a good question. We'll have to wait and see. And looking at your TMF man that really showed off today uh, closing up more than four dollars uh, nice massive move there uh, so as you can see it's well into the Kuma cloud and intraday chart and it's trying to get something going here um, you know the bonds are doing what bonds do and it's trying to establish upside momentum trying to lock something in it's in the Kuma cloud of death so um, you can see some confusion and some consolidation but ultimately it's going to try to break out above 120. All right, so when you look at the uh, long-term chart on the bonds, the TMF, you can see here, nice pop-up upsurge. Market's trying to get something going here and try to test, excuse me, back up here to these new highs. We talked about the gap being filled the other day, and we, we you see that right here. So the, the gap has been filled. The market's telling you that because it's reverse course now. It's popping up. So this is done. This gap here is filled. This gap here is filled. So we filled both gaps here and, and on this bar here. Now the market's headed back up again. Very nicely done. All right, taking a look at your crude oil futures. As you can see, the market extended lower into the Kumo cloud, just like I mentioned it would. You're getting stretched out here now in the uh, in the oversold level. It's, it's oversold, but it's looking like it wants to lock something in. You can't really trust it because it's in the Kumo cloud of death where markets consolidate and can whipsaw all over the place. 
So, you know, it's the chapter still not written yet, but this right here, this arching down is not looking good for the bullish side of things in the crude oil. And $35 looks to be where this is headed. 35 here we come, look out below. All right, we can see this confirmed with the OIH. Uh, so on the equity side of things, you see and it's, it's doing the same thing. Looks like this wants to head down there uh, south of 26. So 26 is where this one looks to be headed. So you got another dollar uh, and 92 cents to go. So this one is looking very, very weak. And I don't see anything changing this uh, pattern, like I said, barring some major event. All right, looking at the real estate game today, you can see that it had a spike down here and then managed to recover toward the upper end of the range here into the close, but it's extending here. So bouncing off this trend line support, uh, nothing really bearish on this chart, as I pointed out before, just testing that that trend line so we'll see if uh, if it can get some more pop or is it going to re resume the correction and head further south let's take a look at that again all right on the longer term chart you can see here the market is has major support here this uh, purple line and the orange line all right so here on the daily chart you can see uh, 8336 is the first support and 81 06 is the secondary support and you can see it's oversold now but it looks like it could see further downside pressure uh, and you know get further into the correction it's tough to say right now because of, of the, the quick retreat off of the first trend line support so this is going to be one to watch but it's still very powerful uh, within this uptrend all right looking now at the uh, QQQ looking at the NASDAQ 100 nice gap up today on the open on the daily as you can see here and this market uh, you know closed near the top of the range for the day and it's extending further out locking in this bullish trend market is still well supported at the 11280 I don't see uh, anything stopping this freight train right now to the upside looking at the NASDAQ 100 futures contract you can see that confirmation there gap up and closing near the highs of the day and this one's well supported at 4621 and three quarters so a lot of uh, support underneath this market and this thing is just ready to run all right looking at gold nice upward pop surge on the gold hitting into the overbought area now the question is is this going to be sold like we did back in here or is it going to try to continue to go higher and test the 1377 level? Uh, the market right now is well supported at 13.13.30. And uh, it's still in a bullish position. Not the strongest of charts, but it's still, in a, it's still a bull chart nonetheless. So we'll see if we can get follow through on the gold. But really nice move today, closing up uh, you know, not about 19 bucks. So that's, that's, that's quite a move. Looking at the GLD, pretty much uh, the same thing here. As you can see, nice, nice upward surge, and uh, this market has overhead resistance at 129.35. Uh, a break above 129.35 would put the high here of 131.15 and back in play, and could see us hit resistance around 132. That would be my initial target. Uh, on this first upward thrust breakout if it happens all right uh, looking at silver powerful uh, upward pop here too in the silver closing up uh, uh, you know over 70 cents overbought level now but overhead resistance is at the 2059 level uh, a break above that will set the stage for the 21 and the 22 which is still our target uh, for this silver uh, so 22 here we come looking at SLV same thing this one now is in a positive pulse wave situation it did break out of the 1896 and the 1904 
and it's really ready to run up toward this $20 price target. Market remains well supported at 1834. And we just hit the overbought level. So we'll see if this market can get a lock in and push above the 20. So for right now, $20, here we come. With that said, remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. So take what you can and give nothing back.